not like that expression. <coughs> Artists are born. They are not made. Right. They, 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 they are all born actually. So you are a born artist. But you have not been practicing, but now you are practicing. Mm. But it's, it's good thing that you know you are doing something, uh, I mean, uh, a particular dance from your place, which is a, probably a record kind of a thing, you know. See, art is one thing which preserves the nation, preserves the state. You know, you think about uh, Mohanjodaro and all these things, or Mayan culture. You know, th that those cultures are lost long back. Today, actually, you know, after excavation, something is found out that those, what you get is those artwork. That artwork, I you know, talks about those, you know, uh, those days culture. So, art always, you know, preserves the culture. I remember a small, small you know, English poem. It's something like this, you know, all things pass. The strong art alone can know the eternity. A marble bust can outlive the state. A toiler, while working in the field, if you get a medallion, that speaks, you know, that preserves the emperor. Emperor is the law. I mean, say, say, say King Asoka, Emperor Asoka. He is lost long back, but he is still preserved by the Asoka Stamba, which is a work of art. And last time they say, you know, even the gods must die, but the sovereign poetry survives longer than death. You know, Krishna, Ram, and who, whom we call God, actually, they also had actually physical death. But Ramayana and Gita, which are the work of art, those sovereign poetry, they, they, they will never die. So anyhow, what, what artwork we have done, so that will preserve the culture. Thank you, sir. So it is necessary. And Kaidba uh, and Sangeet. So these are the actually, you know, important arts. These are called Shilpa. You know, there, there are one word actually, you know, always we confuse, Shilpa and Kala. Both are slightly different actually. Kala, when you talk about, there are 64 types of Kala. Out of those 64, few are only called actually Shilpa. You know, so I'll tell you Sanskrit stroke, I'll tell you many also, it's like this. Jalpitam hasitam gitam nittam juddha gati kalaha shilpam sharva karmanihi pranasaiva vichistitam. This meaning is, jalpitam, somebody, you know, talks very well, that is also an art. Hasitam, somebody laughs, you know, laughs, smiles, that is also art. Gitam nittam, gita and nitta, those are actually art we know. Juddha gati kala, in fact, you know, the, somebody fights well, that is also an art. There also we say, oh, we know the art of fighting. <coughs> Shilpam sarva karmanihi pranasaiva vishistitam. Those, you know, the kala comes from the heart, emanates from the heart. Those are politically shilpa. And those shilpa only, generally we take those six only. Chitra, Bhaskarja, Nitta, Naitta, Kaidva, Sangeet. So that these are one. So he is, you know, practicing one of the, you know, uh, important art which is called silver. So, in true sense, he is a silky. And uh, again, you know, because he is mostly doing something work on, you know, mythology only. Mythology means again, you know, mythology teaches us you know, spirituality also. So, thereby, uh, I take it this way that, you know, probably you have got a spiritual bent of mind. Yes. And, uh, you know, that through art also, one can get moksha. That's what our Shastra says. Natasya punar janmaha silpa siddhir bhavit tatha silpa vidya sada sreshta sarvada ananda daiga. This meaning is natasya punar janma. Uska punar janma nahi hota hai. Kiska? Silpa siddhir bhavit tatha. Those are silpa siddhya vyakti. Unka punar janma nahi hota hai. Because through silpa only they get moksha. That's what our silpa sastra says like that. Silpa vidya sada sreshta sarvada ananda daiga. Silpa vidya always the best form of actually uh, knowledge. And uh, uh, you know, it gives always anand, sarvada ananda daika. It always gives anand. Anand means again, you know, you can call, you know, Bhagavan ke keval ananda or anubhuti hai. That's what we say. Keval anubhava ananda rupaha parameshara. Parameshara si ek ananda anubhuti. So, kalakar usi anubhuti me rehte hai. So, I wish, you know, he will do well much more. He is the special touch. So, go higher. Thank you.